What advice and timeless takeaway? I love that phraseology, timeless takeaway. I'd say back yourself more. In our experience at McNulty, the vast majority of people don't back themselves enough. They don't believe in themselves enough. They don't have enough ambition, as you quoted earlier on, Benny. So we would always say to people around the world, back yourself more earlier, more regular, uh, and especially after you fail. Because failure, it's brilliant. It's magic. Failure, everybody, I hope you're listening to me well enough around the world. Failure is magic. It's gold dust. Get more of it. Get it into your system. Lap it up. Experience it. And as soon as you experience it, immediately move on to the next failure. Because it is a huge part of the formula for success. In fact, it's essential for success. And we know that all successful people in life, they have used the failure as formula for success. That's the first big takeaway. The second big takeaway would be when you're in a game. You can't dictate whether you're going to scale a 10 million or a 100 million organization. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But if you win your inner game, you're much more likely to win that outer game. And by the inner game, I mean your own psychology, your own confidence, your own self-worth, your own self-esteem, your own self-discipline, your own self-enjoyment, your own self-fulfillment, your own sense of self-achievement, uh, your own sense of self-worth. Because if you win that inner game, well, people will follow you. If you don't win the inner game, people are not going to follow you. Secondly, third timeless takeaway would be enjoy it. If you don't enjoy working on your scaling organization, if you don't enjoy playing the piano, if you don't enjoy playing Gaelic football, if you don't enjoy being a leader in your organization, if you don't enjoy business, get the hell out of it. What are you doing in it if you don't enjoy it? And by enjoying, I mean probably the intersection between enjoyment and passion. If you're not unbelievably passionate about what you do, get out of it. 